Mad King says is here, and uh, with the Halloween event in Guild Wars 2 comes the Mad King's Clock Tower Jumping Puzzle. Um, a lot of people have issues with this jumping puzzle because it's a little fast paced, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to try to make it easier to do. To start the jumping puzzle, you gotta enter the jumping puzzle. Dun dun dun. You can also enter the jumping puzzle from the Mad King's Labyrinth. When you get in, it is a PvP area. Um, sort of you're racing against other people. So over here is how many times you've done it. Over here is how many times the top players done it. 12 minutes and 40 seconds till this one closes. So that's nice. So first things first is it's going to have a little starting area when we get sucked in. Once this bar fills up, then everyone can go do the jumping puzzle. Um, it's basically waiting, making you wait for whoever is actually completing it. And here we go. We're getting sucked in to the jumping puzzle. All right. Do to do. So first things first, I always zoom in a little bit. Um, that way I can focus on what I'm jumping on and not everything. This spot right here is a stop spot. So you wait for all the stuff to appear. And I always hop over all that stuff. The main thing is to try to keep always going forward. Hold your right mouse button down as you're going along because you don't get much for stopping spots like in this at all. Watch right there because the uh, ooze comes up. Alright, watch out on that cog. It's a little slippery sometimes. You get up here, jump on this plank, jump right here, here, and then up onto the stairs. So once you come up here to these planks, you actually need to jump off. See down here to the treasure? And when you land, you want to hop up here onto this broken stuff that appears. And then keep going around. Um, it's a lot easier once you're past that point because the ooze isn't catching up as quite as fast. Watch out for this plank because you can slide down the side of that. And then we're here to some stairs. So what we're waiting for is for the clock face to come around and get shattered. And then we jump into it like this. And then you get to be at the church chest. And that's all you have to do to complete the jumping puzzle. It is fast paced, definitely. And it is, you have to keep go, go, going. Um, especially th during the whole beginning part before you jump down. So again, you just start out and you climb up these stairs. Not too hard. This first part look right here. You jump right here to land right there. You can get caught on that stair if you don't jump far enough. And then some people like to start right there. I like to start right here. Um, either way, you can get through it. Jump along all this. I like to use the plank. Don't actually get the chest. Just keep going. Don't stop going. That's the main thing is, is most of the stuff you can run on it and then do a sharp turn with the right mouse click being held down the whole time. Like I almost never let go of it except to swivel the whole camera. You don't really get much option for pausing during the whole thing. Um, it kind of forces you to keep rising up the spiral. So you do need to do it and practice it to get some muscle memory. Um, if you're having trouble with it, don't give up and don't get frustrated that you have to wait for the bar to fill up. It's just other people trying to do it too.